first step in every project is to record data with the BME688 gas sensor. You can record your data using the BME Development Kit, which comes with eight BME688 gas sensors. But before you head out into the field or lab to record your data, the dev kit board has to be configured. This step prepares the board with the right configuration for your recording. We can do the configuration directly in the BME AI Studio, and then save it as a configuration file. This configuration file then goes onto the SD card of the board. Once turned on, the board will automatically read the configuration from the SD card. So here we are in BME AI Studio, in a newly created project. As you can see, I don't have any data in my specimen collection yet. Let's configure our board so we can record some gas data for our project. This is the board configuration screen. A board configuration always consists of two things, a heater profile and a duty cycle. Together, they determine how the sensors on the board will operate. The heater profile defines which temperatures the sensor will reach during one scanning cycle, while the duty cycle defines how many cycles the sensor will scan or sleep. For more information on this, you can always hit one of the question mark icons to jump into the corresponding section of the documentation. When starting a new project and for a first round of data recording, we recommend to use the default heater profile and duty cycle. For that, simply make sure you have sensor board default selected here at the top of the screen. As you can see, the default heater profile HP354 will run through different temperatures between 320 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius, and takes around 10 seconds to complete. The default duty cycle is RDC510, meaning the sensor will scan for 5 iterations of the heater profile and then sleep for 10 iterations of the heater profile. This means it will take around 150 seconds to complete one duty cycle. This will be important when we start recording data later on. In a later stage of our project, we could also select multiple heater profiles, or multiple duty cycles, and spread the different configurations across the eight sensors of our board. But let's stick with the default setting for our example. Select Save to File and select a location on your hard drive. I like to save it directly within my project folder. The config file has a specific file ending, .bme config. Now we can take the SD card from our development kit, plug it into our computer and copy the configuration file to the SD card. Done. We are now ready to record. <laughs>